Jesus love you, Jesus loves you. So the sexually immoral, um, basically God has really put on my heart today, uh, September 11th, 2020. Uh, God's really put on my heart <clears throat> to talk about sexual immorality. Um, a lot of people talk about it in the wrong way. Like, you got to be careful when you're talking about it, but it's important to talk about. Um, so basically, I looked up uh, sexually immoral, BibleGateway.com, the ESV, uh, English Standard Version. Um, all right, so anyways, I'm not exactly sure where this is going, but I just wanted felt like God wanted me to talk about that. Um, you know, sexual immorality obviously is a sin. And anyways, here we go. Um, so the first occurrence, uh, 1 Corinthians 5, 9, I wrote to you in my letter not to associate with sexually immoral people, not at all meaning the sexually immoral of this world or the greedy and swindlers or idolaters, then you would need to go out of the world. So he says, like, if somebody calls themselves a brother, but they're sexually immoral, you're not even to associate with them. And Paul said, don't even let sexual immorality be named among you. Like, if, if it's a group of Christians, sexual immorality shouldn't even be anywhere near there. Like, not even be named among you. So, like, it shouldn't be happening. Um, so, all right, first Corinthians six, nine, or do you not know that the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God? The unrighteous, that means sinful people. You're unrighteous. You're lacking righteousness because you're sinning. Sinful people won't go to heaven. Sinful, the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God. Sinful people won't go to heaven. Do not be deceived. So a lot of people will say, like, Jesus' blood covers it, and I said a prayer, and whatever, whatever. God is not, like, if you're a tr real true Christian, you've been transformed into a new creation with the Holy Spirit. He's holy living in you, the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit. So you're going to live a holy life. Read the book of 1 John. 1 John says, if you're sinning, your father is the devil. If you're walking in righteousness, God is your father. Jesus is your father. So, so it says, or do you not know that the sinful will not go to heaven? Do not be deceived. Don't be deceived by like, oh, Jesus's blood covers it. Jesus's blood covers you when you give, when you repent of your sin, you give your life to Jesus and you're made into a new creation then his blood covers you when you belong to him. So if you're not a part of God's family and you're sexually immoral and you're sinful, Jesus's blood doesn't cover you. Like it doesn't matter if you prayed a prayer or read the Bible or went to church or whatever you did. If, if, if you haven't been born again, his blood doesn't cover you. And a sign that you haven't been born again is sexual immorality and sin and other sin. Like if you're living a sinful life, that's a sign that you haven't been born again because the Holy Spirit will have you, will make you, you'll live a holy life. So the unrighteous will not inherit the kingdom of God, will not go to heaven. Don't be deceived by anything, neither the sexually immoral, nor, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor men who practice homosexuality. Let's see if it adds anything to that in context nor thieves nor the greedy nor drunkards nor revilers nor swindlers will enter will inherit the kingdom of god so these are people not going to heaven because they haven't been changed into holy creatures you you're un, you're born as an unholy creature you're conceived as an unholy creature and then when you give your life to Jesus, repent of your sins, you're made into a holy creature. So that's what it's saying is you, if you have the Holy Spirit, you will be holy. So don't be deceived. 
neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor men who practice homosexuality, nor thieves, nor the greedy, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor swindlers will inherit the kingdom of God. They're not going to heaven. If they repent and give their life to Jesus, then they will. All right, let's go back to this. Uh, flee. This is 1 Corinthians 6.18. Run away from sexual immorality. Run away from it. Every other sin a person commits is outside the body, but the sexually immoral person sins against his own body. And it also says that if you disregard, if you disregard that, and you're, if you decide that you're just going to be sexually immoral, you're not disregarding man, but God who gives his spirit and his word. So if you're sexually immoral, that's a specific sin where you're specifically spitting in God's face. You're not disregarding man, but God who gives his Holy Spirit. So flee from sexual immorality, run away from sexual immorality. Ephesians 5.5, 5, you may be sure of this, that everyone who is sexually immoral or impure or who is covetous, that is an idolater, has no inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God. So Jesus has a kingdom at heaven. At, you're not going to heaven if you're sexually immoral, impure, covetous. That's an idolater. So if you're sexually immoral, impure, or covetous, you're not going to heaven. 1 Timothy 1.10 The sexually immoral... Oh wait, I need this in context. <clears throat> understanding this that the law is not laid down for the just but for the lawless and disobedient for the ungodly and sinners for the unholy and profane for those who strike their fathers and mothers for murderers the sexually immoral men who practice homosexuality enslavers liars perjurers and whatever else is contrary to sound doctrine in accordance with the gospel of the glory of the blessed God with which I have been entrusted. That's 1 Timothy 9 through 11. That's kind of funny. It's 9 11 today. And that's 1 Timothy 9 through, 1 Timothy 1, 9 through 11. Okay. And there's like, there's three lists. I think one is 1 Corinthians 6, and then also in Revelation, and then maybe it's Galatians. There's three, there's three or four lists in the New Testament that if you practice those things, it proves that you're not saved. And you can basically just ask yourself, am I a part of the fam? Am I, am, do I belong to Jesus? Are me and Jesus like this? Am I sinning? Am I sexually immoral? Like, am I sinning in other ways? Like, have I been born again? Have I been washed clean and now I'm living a holy life? All right. Um, Hebrews, Hebrews 12, 16, that no, one, that no one is sexually immoral or unholy like Esau who sold his birthright for a single meal. Um, for you know that afterward, when he desired to inherit the blessing, he was rejected, for he found no chance to repent, though he sought it with tears. So, sexually immoral or unholy like Esau, who sold his birthright for a single meal. For you know that afterward, when he desired to inherit the blessing, he was rejected, though he, he was rejected, for he had found no chance to repent, though he sought it with tears. Okay, Hebrews 13, 4, let the marriage bed be held in honor among all and let the marriage bed be undefiled for God will judge the sexually immoral and adulterous. Revelation, there's two more, two more and I'm done. Revelation 21, 8, but as for the cowardly, the faithless, the detestable, as for murderers, the sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars, their portion will be in the lake that burns with fire and sulfur, which is the second death. And then a chapter later, Revelation twenty-two fifteen: outside are the dogs and sorcerers 
and the sexually immoral and murderers and idolaters and everyone who loves and practices falsehood. So you can see like sexual, sexual immorality is clearly repeated throughout the whole Bible. Um, if you're sexually immoral, you're on your way to hell, the lake of fire. You got, you need to give your life to Jesus and, uh, <clears throat> be born again to a new and living hope. Um, and then in the, um, anyways, but so like bestiality, homosexuality, adultery, fornication, sexual sin by yourself, any type of sexual sin will like shows that you're not born again. So, and the Bible commands us to examine ourselves to see if we're in the faith. Love Jesus, loves you. Jesus.